Listen, listen, listen. We got breaking news in the NBA involving Damian Lillard. This is unbelievable. We all know that Dame has definitely moved on to greener pastures, but it's definitely some unfortunate news that we're here to break to the people. Damian Lillard, NBA superstar, files for divorce from his wife, Kayla Hansen. Ladies and gentlemen, this was his college sweetheart. They was married back in September 4th, 2021. You know, they shared three children. You know, um, it's unfortunate that this took place one week after, you know, the trade. But we're going to break it all down. There's definitely a lot to discuss in the NBA. And we're going to definitely get everybody's opinion. So definitely feel free to get in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports for more news, updates, and more. Listen, I got my man all access in the building. Dex, man, this is definitely some crazy news. What's your thoughts? Yes, Flight. Shout out to Flight Sports TV, the machine, the voice of the voiceless, the people's champ, the hottest in the streets fight this is some devastating news that uh we don't want to hear nor report but it is incumbent of us to give the people what they need and give the people what they want damian lillard has officially filed for divorce october 2nd 2023 from his wife of three kids lay uh kayla lillard kayla lillard and damian lillard could not come to an agreement to keep the sanctity of their marriage together. And we know marriage is the institution and the foundation of family. And some reason, since the trade happened, they have cited irreconcilable differences. And based on that, Damian Lillard will have his new sojourn in the NBA in a different locale in the city of Milwaukee. Damian Lillard is official mean green cheesehead and Kayla will not be joining him on this journey as we speak. According to court uh, papers that he has submitted, uh, um, there's no real details based on except that they have listed it was irreconcilable difference and there is might could be an um, amicable divorce or it could get archaic and uh, anxious and it could also get amnes. So we want to make sure that Damon Lillard has his mind right. We want to make sure that Kayla Lillard can go off into the sunset peacefully and they can still be a co-parenting of those lovely Lillers that's running around. Hopefully we can see those Lillers uh, playing professional sports somewhere in the near future. But right now, as we speak, Damian Lillard, former superstar of the Portland Trailblazers, who has been recently been traded to the Milwaukee Bucks for a number of drafts and players, will now host his new NBA career in the city of Milwaukee, and he will be playing with Giannis Antetokounmpo and fellow all-star Chris Milliton, forming a big three. So hopefully Kayla Lillard and Damian Lillard can get this divorce over quickly, swiftly, and it doesn't affect how Damian Lillard moves forward in a new uniform in Milwaukee flight. Yeah, it's definitely unbelievable, man. This is this is definitely crazy. Uh, the news is definitely unfortunate. And my only opinion with the whole situation, Dex, is hopefully it does not seep into the basketball floor. I think that would be truly unfortunate because this team is definitely looking to do incredible, remarkable things. When you're discussing a tandem and a tag team of – Giannis Antetokounmpo and a closer and Damian Lillard, you know, Dame got to have his mentality right to close, you know, so we're going to see training camp is underway. Um, he seems to be in good spirits, you know, um, but let's see what happens. We all know trades affect a lot, 
it affects a lot of families, you know, so we must stay stay tuned to that, you know. But Dex, is there any situation where you think this could seep into the basketball floor? Flight, there is a possibility that this could uh, emotionally affect Damian Lillard um, while he's on that 94 feet park cake floor up in Milwaukee, that, ooh, that lovely uh, arena up in Milwaukee. Uh, you know, they're a championship team and they're contending for a championship. Let's just hope that Damian Lillard can keep the main thing the main thing. But unfortunately, they do want privacy. But Damian Lillard filed for divorce in, a, in, a, in the middle of a trade situation that has exploded all over the media, social media, and YouTube landscape. So it's hard for Damian Wishes to be met to keep this private via his attorney uh, in the midst of all of this hoopla surrounding Damian Lillard's new location. So we, we're going to do the best we can to, to keep it uh, respectful. But when any other news break out, we will move forward and disseminating that as soon as possible, Flight. Uh, absolutely. You know, um, I think that the, Port the Portland Trailblazers, they're moving on. Uh, and obviously the Milwaukee Bucks, they are about to really embark on something special. Do you see the Bucks clear cut number one in the Eastern Conference? And if not, uh, who who threatens them? Who who's who's probably their biggest rival? Uh, biggest two rivals, one or two? Well, from my perspective, the two green teams, the Mean Green and the Leprechaun. Those are the two formidable teams in the Eastern Conference that stands out to me. Austin Celtics have also made moves. They were one of the first strong, formidable team to improve their roster by making the moves that they made, even though some had some skepticism about the movement and departure of Marcus Smart. Albeit, they still was able to mend with their fan base by acquiring Drew Holiday, the recent acquisition for the Boston Celtics to, to keep them at a forefront and possibly the favorite to win the East. Now, is there any other dark horse out there? Yes, my dark horse would be the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the reason why I feel the Cleveland Cavaliers could be that dark horse, even though the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, finished in the Goldilocks zone, that was the top four, and they hosted a first round playoff series and eventually lost to the formidable New York Knickerbockers. But nevertheless, I believe Cleveland on the second go around with the advent of Spider Man Mitchell and Darius Garland, they should improve. And now you have a situation where they are able to uh, adjust with that superstar in their midst because Mobley, Jared Allen, Darius Garland never had a superstar playing with them in the same uniform, on the same floor, in the same arena, on the level of Spider-Man Mitchell. And so I believe once they become accustomed to what this uh, phenom can do, I believe Cleveland could be that dark horse in the Eastern Conference. Yes, yes, right. Absolutely, Dex, man. The East is going to be wild. We're going to be covering it all season long. If you don't want to miss one second of coverage, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports for more news, updates, and more. Peace.